circuit and components are ready. Click on any one of the buttons below to start the experiment. Connect the transistor in gap number 6. Connect the lamps in gap number 5 and 8. Connect the shorting pins in gap number 4 and 7. Connect the resistor in gap number 3. Circuit has been constructed successfully. Click on Simulate button. Switch the power supply on to activate the circuit. Observe that the lamp in gas number 5 glows brightly and the lamp in gas no. 8 glows dim. Switch the power supply off. Increase the value of the resistance to 1K by clicking on the resistor value 100 ohms. Click on the Simulate button. Switch the power supply on to activate the circuit. Observe that the lamp in gas number 5 still glows brightly and the lamp in gas number 8 glows very dim. Switch the power supply off. Increase the value of the resistance further to 10K. Observe the intensities of the lamp. Click on the simulate button. Switch the power supply on to activate the circuit. Observe that the lamp in gas number 5 glows slightly dim and the lamp in gas number 8 does not glow. Switch the power supply off. Click on the conclusion button to know what you have learned from this experiment. A small current in the base emitter circuit provides a considerably larger current in the collector emitter circuit. That is, the transistor acts as a current amplifier in this configuration, which is called the common emitter or CD configuration.